It's funny, I, I'm sad a little bit that she kind of, she flared out. Flared out before her death, even. If you live in the palace, you think it's all pretend. If you live on the Death Star, you think you control everything through technology and the Force. If you live in your car, surrounded by bodyguards, going to and from the Supreme Court, you think nothing of telling people they could be packing heat on the New York City subway. You're not going to take the subway. What do you care about a bunch of 25-year-olds, 95-year-olds hopping on the IRT to go to work or to go visit their grandchild? Nothing of it, because you think it's all fake. You think people are props, extras, objects. And yet the thing is, you never know who's going to be at the gates. Who's going to be at the gates? Who's going to be trying to breach your wall? You just don't know. You don't know how that line is to be observed because you think you're controlling and constructing and therefore manipulating all of it. You get to say you have the power. Then real things happen. An earthquake happens and it flattens regions in Pakistan. A flood happens and just wipes out significant parts of Southeast Asia. A war happens and we realize that an empire we might have seen as some kind of paper tiger, some kind of empire of straw that could be huffed and puffed and blown down more readily than the empire of sticks or of bricks. And we realize, no, 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 no. It was real. It was real all along. And it's real now. And we're not in charge of it. And we may have had a hand in constructing it. We don't control it. We don't manipulate it, no matter how much we use the force, no matter how much we can drive the Death Star around the galaxy. Thank you.